In the previous video, we exported the cake reducer and actions from cakeslice.js. Let's make use of them in this video and have a fully functioning cake feature with Redux Toolkit. First, we are going to define our store in store.js. In the Redux demo project, we use the create store method from Redux. With Redux Toolkit, we use configure store to define our store. Begin by importing it at the top. Const configure store is equal to require Redux Toolkit dot configure store. Invoke the function and assign it to a constant called store. Configure store accepts an object as argument. Here we can specify a key called reducer and this is where we specify all the reducers from slices that belong to features. We have just the one cake reducer so let's import it. const cake reducer is equal to require from features from cake from cake slice. Now Add a key in the reducer object called cake and set it to cake reducer. Similar to what we had done with plain Redux as well. Our store is now complete. Let's export it and make use of it in index.js to dispatch some actions. So module.exports is equal to store. Now within the Redux Toolkit demo folder, in index.js, which is still empty, import the store. So const store is equal to require from the app folder from store.js. Next, let's log the initial state. So console log initial state and this is going to be equal to store.getState similar to plain Redux. Next let's subscribe to updates in the store. Again similar to plain Redux const unsubscribe is equal to store.subscribe. This will accept a function where we are going to simply log the updated state. store.getState. Finally, let's dispatch a few actions. To dispatch the cake actions, we need to import them from cakeslice.js. So const cake actions is equal to require from dot slash features slash cake slash cake slice a named export called cake actions this line right here. Now at the bottom store.dispatch cake actions dot ordered and let's order three cakes in total and finally store.dispatch cake actions dot restocked. Let's restock three cakes. At the end we unsubscribe listening to the store. If you now open the terminal, navigate inside the Redux Toolkit demo folder and run node index, you should be able to see the initial state, so 10, the cake count decreasing for 3 ordered action type and increasing back to 10 for restocking action type. This is how you work with the Redux Toolkit pattern. Create a feature slice using the create slice function, which generates the actions and reducers. Perform direct mutations on the state, and that is completely okay with Immer being used under the hood. 
create the store using the configure store function and attach the red user. Dispatch actions on the store using store.dispatch, inspect the state using store.getState and listen to changes using store.subscribe. In the next video, let's see how to add the ice cream feature to our app, which should further help solidify the Redux toolkit pattern in your mind. Thank you for watching. If you're finding the videos helpful, please do leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.